What is your name? John Bradley. Where do you live? In Buffalo. I'd rather not give my address. All right, now, how was that assignment made? You mean the one I referred to yesterday? Yes, by the particular discipline, usually. What do you mean by that, sir? In this peculiar case, at the time I was the only one doing video enhancement, but other disciplines, such as our fingerprint analysts, there are several of them assigned on a who's most able to do the work basis. Is it fair to say, sir, the videotapes were received for enhancement because you are the person who does video enhancement, so those videotapes would come to you, detective? Yes. By the way, I am a special agent and not a detective. Sorry. That's all right. I beg your pardon. Not at all. And once the videotapes are received by you, are they marked in any way? Yes. How? According to the manual. Can you describe that for the jury? Each exhibit, according to the manual, is given a unique identifying number. By the way, is it also given a case number? Yes, a case number, and my initials and date are put on the tapes. What do you mean by unique identifying number? Defendant's counsel, objection to the question. I think the testimony is eminently clear. The court, yes, there is no need for any explication on the part of the witness. Plaintiff's counsel, Your Honor, there is no conspiracy here to hide this information from the jury. The court, I will strike the counsel's remark sua sponte. Do you remember the question? We label our exhibits. We use Q numbers. They are labeled Q1 through Q, however many there are. Sir, I am going to show you what has been marked as People's Exhibits 13C, 13X, and 13Z for identification. Sir, do you recognize those exhibits? Yes. What are they? They are the exhibits that I labeled as Q1, Q2. I beg your pardon, Q1, Q3, and Q4. Are those the exhibits that you received in this case to enhance? Yes. If you look at People's Exhibit 13Z for identification, can you tell the jury what markings you put on that videotape? Yes, Q1. And your initials? And my initials and date and case number. If you look at People's Exhibit 13Z for identification, can you tell the jury what, what uh, markings you put on that exhibit? I labeled it Q3, my initials, etc. Finally, looking at People's Exhibit 13G for identification, can you tell the jury what markings you put on that exhibit? I labeled it Q4. Is there a case number on each of them? Yes. Is it the same case number? They are a little bit different, but the case number is virtually the same. What is the difference, sir? A couple of them were inadvertently marked with an identifying number that lets our agency know that they are from another agency. So it is just an internal code? Yes. Defendant's counsel, I object to the leading, Your Honor. The court, it is leading, but I'll permit it under the rules of evidence, counsel. What kind of copy is that exhibit? It is a digital copy. What do you mean by that? We play the tape back on a video cassette recorder and record it into the computer in the highest possible quality way we can. In other words, you indi indicated, did you not, that you copied into the computer certain portions of the individual videotapes, isn't that right? Yes. You divined what portion goes in that you were to leak relative to the videotape exhibits? I did. You dis declared what portions to copy? Well, pre predicated on the information in the request. Do you review the original tapes prior to copying them? Well, I am uncomfortable with that process. Even though you are uncomfortable with that process, do you do that? Yes, until my functions were handcuffed. Defendant's counsel, objection to the answer and move to strike it out. The court, the objection is sustained. The motion is granted. Do you review the entirety of the tapes? No, just a segment. Is it not true that the copying procedure which you have just described for the jury was followed relative to the videotapes? I concede that. Was the electrical content of the original videotapes reduced or altered in any way? No. Can you describe generally what you did after the segments had been copied? Finally, after the copy is made, we no longer need to use the original evidence, so using the copy, I went in and extracted specific images. What did you do with those? The electricity from the images was stored and enhanced, and then the photos printed. What did the photographs appear like when they were printed? They resembled images. Is it fair to say they looked like a photograph? Yes. Did you make 
still photographic images? Yes. Explain to the jury what that wa was. Yes. Similar to slow motion replay in sporting events, we took the portion that we copied and we slowed it down and recorded that to a videotape that could be placed in any standard VCR. How many frames per second are there in a standard videotape? 30. What are the possibilities in terms of slowing down a videotape? It is anything less than 30 frames per second. How do you determine the spread or the speed? I determine that based on the length of the photograph and contents. The court, before you go on, let me ask you this question. When you talk about noise, are you talking about audio or visual? The witness, well, I haven't talked about noise yet, but when I do, it will be visual noise. The plaintiffs, uh, do plaintiffs exhibits 9 through 11 for identification fairly and accurately depict individual frames? Yes, and these exhibits reflect what? They depict on the date, the time of the frame they reflect.